So guys, um, I'm about to go train a bit of arms and I'm um, gonna go into a bit of my injuries that I accumulated over the years. And I'm especially doing it today because I tore both of my biceps. And while I do the exercise, I'm gonna explain to you guys what went wrong and um, how my view of training has changed. Ladies that open the gate for me every day here at the gym. So hello! hello. <laughs> yeah, they get tired of me. But, they, <laughs> they, look tired. but they do like me. They do like it's me. It's been a long day. So for you guys that have been following me for the last three years know that I tore both my biceps. Um, the first time that I tore my bicep was I was in pretty good shape um, prepping for Arnold's Australia um, when I went for EHP labs. Um, I think my body was just drained and um, too dry and um, you know dehydrated. Second time I tore my bicep about a year and a half later um, I was off season. So a lot of these things doesn't always make sense but I think it's just what I want to try and tell you guys by my experiences is that you know you you need to rest. Um, it made me realize that I need to be more cautious about how I train um, different type of exercises, rest between sets, um, which is very important. So today I'm going to show you exercises that I do for biceps and triceps, just focusing better on more on aspects which I didn't focus on back then before I tore my biceps. So first exercise I'm doing is uh, push curl. So guys, it's obviously important to um, warm up first, so I do about two to three sets just to get the blood into the muscle. So, um, just done two warm up exercises. Basically, how I'm going to run my workout today is going to do um, eight exercises one bicep, one tricep. Um, as you all know, it's good to have that pump um, and get it gradually while you do one bicep and one tricep. So four of each, um, really focusing on my form and gradually increasing the weight. Um, this is something that I neglected a little bit just before my injury. Um, injuries actually, um, you know, went immediately into my, in my max sometimes and um, I think that caused um, that was a big cause of my actual tear um, in my biceps. So just done a warm up and pitch a girl. I'm gonna go into my, my working set right now. Very important to keep your elbows in. Um, as soon as you put your elbows more to the side, you actually take the tension away from the bicep and it works more for arm. So always keep in mind in the back of your head to keep your elbows turned inside and focusing on your full range of motion, squeezing the bicep at the top. So supersetting preacher curl with um, cable rope pull, pull downs. Um, because I'm supersetting, I'm doing about three sets, 12 to 15 reps. Great motivation. Seeing Seth on the screen. Motherfucking big arms. And always be cautious of the weight and try not to um, be that guy in the gym where you feel like weight is the most important. Like really focus on your form and full range of motion. Um, and like I mentioned, gradually increasing your weight. So 
sometimes when I go into a set, I always have in the back of my mind 12 to 15 reps, but there's moments that I forget to count. And then you just carry on and do as much as you can until it burns. Then you've got no excuse. Okay, so third exercise I'm going into rope pull-ups for biceps. And then I'm going to superset that with um, over eight um, tricep extensions. been through two like hectic emotional journeys when it comes to my training and my injuries um, I think it's something that happens in any sport like each sport's got its injuries and you've got to deal with it and um, it's something that will obviously be put you back a few weeks um, and drain you emotionally but um, the key points that are would like you guys to understand is that it does happen um, and the way you handle it is what's really important like recovery time is absolutely probably the most important so if the doctor tells you that it's going to take you six to eight weeks to recover you got to bear with that and go through that time frame and then eventually when you start training um, making sure that you um, baby steps start training with bands even if that's going to take you two to three weeks and then slightly increase um, your weight from bands to dumbbells. If you have to start at two cages or four cages of dumbbells, you gotta do it and eventually before you know it, you gradually increase your strength and improve your mobility and um, before you know it, you're back at it. But emotionally it's draining, um, especially for me um, that is a pro athlete, it, uh, it's been hard for me, but um, I've also learned quite a bit out of this experience over the last two years and that's, you know, rather, train clever then hard not saying that you shouldn't train hard but think about what you're doing once you step into the gym do your warm-ups gradually increasing your weight until you've reached your maximum um, resistance and um, stay hydrated which is also extremely important and um, also one thing that a lot of people do and what I've seen is once you go into the gym um, just fall into your training and not thinking about what you're actually doing thinking about your contraction after each rep thinking about your full range of motion um, counting your reps whether or not you're in volume training or uh, mass training um, off season or on season all of these things plays a major role and I, even I'm guilty going going into gym and just try and get the session over and done with um, without thinking of what that whole session is actually all about. But that's it guys, until the next episode, I hope you enjoyed that.